what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today we're going to re-answer the question i had for you guys in a past video basically is the castle of Cyrus dlc going to be worth that money now to recap on a video i posted over a week ago that video speculated on whether it was going to be worth you purchasing this dlc with destiny in its current state now this was before the blog update on the current state of Destiny 2 and the podcast which featured Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy. Now the unanimous decision basically was the DLC would be indeed worth the asking price but in my opinion I would not purchase it based on the game at the moment and the core problems it has, the lack of quality of life and so on. To recap on what the DLC offers as we know so far we get a new planet Mercury with its very own social space, we get its very own new vendor to the game, Brother Vance, the story will offer a handful of missions based around Osiris and his ghost shell, there will be two new strikes added into the game uh, which will be a part of the story as well, we get a place called the Infinite Forest which has an underlying purpose to support new Mercury adventures, ones which will offer heroic versions of said adventures which you can do on a weekly basis for heroic rewards via Vance. Vance upon completing the DLC story will also offer 11 verses, 3 per week, each a quest to a new Vex themed weapon. We also get a new raid layer, basically an add-on for the Leviathan raid which comes with its very own set of new encounters and bosses with a whole new set of gear, weapons, armors and cosmetics and a few other things which I have missed. Now going back to last week before we got this blog update on the current state of Destiny 2, this info to many people including myself didn't mean a thing as we all knew within Destiny 2 and its current state this content coming with the Curse of Osiris DLC wouldn't really last longer than two weeks. Some people including myself addressed these issues and made their opinions public. We didn't want a third stream, we wanted answers to the questions many of us had. Bunchy took what we said into account and cancelled the third stream under Osiris gear and then dropped a blog post on Destiny 2's current state and the change is being made upon the 5th of December upon the DLC's release, the 12th of December via a patch coming and another patch which comes into the new year. Now what they announced within this blog, if you missed it you'll find the whole thing linked within the video description. The answers that came with this blog, although I'm not perfect, it's definitely a step within the right direction. Many changes are being put into place, here are a few, better things to spend shards on, more things to spend shards on, better ways in earning new loot, more of a grind for said loot and how it's earned, more loot to farm across the board, easier ways of obtaining mods, although the system in my opinion still needs a lot of work, the steps to get it there are in progress no doubt. Basically much better incentives for us to play the game. They mentioned they still plan for private matches to hit early 2018 and even mentioned ranked play being at the top of their list. But also beyond this they mentioned that a new weapon tier system which will come on December 12th called Masterworks basically evolved legendaries. Those very same legendary weapons with extra benefits adding a whole new grind to the game. Now I've made a video covering all what you need to know on these masterwork weapons. If you do want to check it out you'll find it also linked within the video description. I go into quite a lot of detail in that video so it's probably worth your time checking out if this news is new to you. Although I state what is known about them there's still a lot to be learned but it does kind of add a new level of unique weapons which Destiny 1 had and it's really missed in Destiny 2. The chase for figuring that perfect setup for certain instances is something many of us like to do and like to learn of. So yes, I can't wait to learn more about these Masterworks weapons. So yes people, there are many changes being done to make this game more of what it should have been at release. Now if you've also listened to the podcast by Bungie featuring Smith and Norsworthy, you will know, they understand and they admit they messed up big time. You can hear it within their voices, they are disappointed that we are disappointed. It's because of this I am positive about the future. Although there is a long way to go, I definitely think it's on the right track. Now going back to the question I had last week on whether this DLC will be worth the money, I take everything back uh, on what I said in that video and in my opinion I think this DLC is definitely going to be worth the money, especially in the direction Destiny 2 seems to be heading. Problem is I think it is too late for some people. I don't think some people want to give it another chance and to be honest I completely understand. I put out a poll on Twitter last night asking people if they were excited for Destiny 2's first DLC. While 43% said they were looking forward to it, me being one of them, 33% are not and 24% can't make their minds up. This comes as no surprise to me. Actually in fact that's a lie, I didn't actually think the yes option here would be this high. Although when compared to the other two, it's not high at all. 
But the past few weeks have been real hard on Bungie, getting plenty of hate left, right and centre. The negativity surrounding what they are doing and up to behind the scenes uh, with this DLC etc has been as bad as I can ever remember. I honestly thought this might be the end of the franchise, or at least leading up to it. But the changes they have announced and the fuels you get from that podcast has, me included, reassured many. Now what we'll get with this DLC tomorrow and the patch, uh, I think next week or the week after, still after that the game will be far from perfect. But these changes, no doubt, will definitely impact the game in a way it should have been from the very start. Now guys, let me know down below if you're getting and looking forward to this DLC. If you're giving it a skip, let me know that also and your reasoning behind it. But yes, for sure, I am kind of excited, but that's only because I haven't had a reason to play Destiny 2 in over a month. Hopefully that changes tomorrow upon logging in and we see real improvements. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on my next video. Get it right